This is a KGUN 9 On Your Side news update. Well, today's city and county leaders may decide to raise the legal age to buy tobacco and nicotine products. That's right. That includes vaping and electronic cigarette products as well. Nine on your side's Veronica Acosta has more on how the ordinance would work and why some don't think this is actually a good idea. Mark Whitney, good morning. Well, these ordinances, they have been in the works now for about a year. If you all remember, the Tucson City Council, they started talking about this back in August of 2018, now in August of 2019. They're bringing this up one more time. And not only the Tucson City Council, but also the Pima County Board of Supervisors. Now, they're going to be holding meetings today and discussing whether to raise the age to buy tobacco and nicotine products from 18 years old to 21 years old. Now, if both the Tucson City Council and the Board of Supervisors approve these, then this will go into effect on January 1st, 2020. Reporting from the Board of Supervisors, Veronica Acosta, Kega 9, on your side. Cochise County says you're probably going to start seeing Census Bureau workers out and about sometime soon, but it's important to make sure you're being approached by the right person. Remember, Census Bureau employees must present an ID badge that includes a photograph, a Department of Commerce watermark, and an expiration date. Look out for that stuff. And chances are, too, they will also be carrying a phone or maybe a laptop. The county says if you think something is off about the person, call police. A local restaurant is collecting donations for victims of the El Paso shooting. Little Anthony's Diner is going to host a classic car show this Saturday. It'll be on Broadway near Colt from 5 to 9. The diner holds regular car shows every other Saturday, but this weekend show was announced on their Facebook page. The event is free. The restaurant has already raised nearly $400. They say all of the donations will be given to the official account for El Paso victims. The University of Arizona is working to help teach students about cybersecurity. The U of A campus in Chandler is also teaming up with high schools to help beef up cybersecurity programs and learn more about cyber policy and the laws that surround it. New research says there will be more than 3 million unfilled jobs in the cyber sector by the year 2021. All right, let's head over to April for a look outside. More rain in the forecast today. Uh, it's not going to be as likely if we don't burn through this quicker. In fact, we're expecting this to possibly not only delay, but maybe limit thunderstorms later this afternoon. We have warmed to 81 degrees, so we're getting enough of a break that it is allowing us to go up a bit. But you can still see how dark those clouds are, especially over the higher elevations. Still seeing some of that heavier rain coming down over the mountains. Will clear out, but it could, again, not only limit, but maybe delay how much storm action we have later today. We'll hold on to still about a 20%, but it goes up a little better into the second half of the week. We'll hold on to some rain-cooled air with those mid to upper 90s as well.